Hi all. Today in this session, we will check how we can do some uh, aggregation on top of the data that is available in my source. So let's consider this select two. This is the job or the pipeline or the data flow that we created in the last uh, uh, session. So I'll be reusing this particular thing. So in this select two, uh, let's see what is the data here. So here the data is something like uh, customer ID, full name, email address, and the address ID in the state for users. So what I want is I want to do an aggregation on top of this state province. I want to see how many customer ID belong to the each state province. So in that case, what I can do is I can create a different flow and check the data here. I will not be impacting. I will not be doing any changes to the existing flow. Let me create a new branch here. So for that, Let's click on this plus sign and a new branch will pop up. Now, let me click on this plus sign once again. And under the schema modifier, we have this aggregate. Let's go to aggregate. You can change the um, output schema stream name to the appropriate name. Here the incoming stream is uh, select to. This is what is select to for me, which is an input for me. Here I need to group by on state province. And I want to do an aggregation on customer ID. And uh, I need to provide a expression here. So I can click on this open. Yeah. So here I can search for count. And what is the expression? I want to count the number of customer ID available in each state provinces. So count I have selected. If I go to input schema, I can select this customer ID so that it will do a count of this customer ID. Let's click on finish, save and finish. Let me preview the data. So now you can see here we have the state province and here we have the customer ID count. So for California, we have 65 records, 65 customer ID. And I think this is what we validated in the last session also. In this filter, we have done a filter on California and we got 65 records. So here in aggregate also, we are getting under California, we are getting 65 uh, customer ID count. Same thing uh, for different state also, this is the count that we are getting. But yes, one thing here, this particular column is the count of customer ID. It is not a customer ID. So what we can do is we can just modify this particular column name in the, under aggregate. We can, instead of selecting it as customer ID, I can modify it as count of customer ID. Now let me go to data preview one second and let me refresh it. Yeah. So now the data looks to be good now. This is the state province and this is my count of the customer ID. So in this lesson, we checked how to do the aggregation by using the data flow in Azure Data Factory. I hope this session is helpful. If it is informative, then please like and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.